I have some pretty good news. And you can probably tell from the title that we are putting on the Dexcom G7 today. Cause that's just a clear giveaway from the name that I named this video. Anywho, okay. Dexcom was kind enough to send me the brand new Dexcom G7. It's new for me because it was just released in Canada. So that is really exciting news for us over here. I'm sure there's also some little goodies in here. So we're gonna open up this box together. We're gonna see what is also inside. And then we are gonna put on our very first Dexcom G7 together. And I've already downloaded the new Dexcom G7 app. I did not realize there was a brand new app for it too. Okay, let's get into this. Oh, there's a little note in here for Dexcom Warriors. There's some instructions. It shows that the Dexcom G7 app is gonna walk us through it, so that's kinda nice because we don't exactly know what we're doing yet. We got a little picture frame that says Dexcom Warriors. We got a little warrior journal. And what is a notebook without a pen? And look at that. That is our very first Dexcom G7. This is it. Like this little box is the Dexcom G7. And I was confused at first. I had to look at this because I was like, do I have a sensor or a transmitter? No, it is all in one. The G7, it's a brand new transmitter every single time. So this is what the box looks like. That's the new little Dexcom. I'm gonna screen record everything I do on the app and we'll put it like here or here so that we can kind of like, you guys can stay along with me. I've already downloaded the app. I've already done the overview. That is complete. <laughs> But I'm also gonna have to take off my G6 and it might be my last one, but it might not be depending on insurance and how the G7 works yet in my province or my country or anything like that. App setup. I am screen recording, right? Yes, yes I am. So app setup, connecting your phone. I'm scared my camera battery could die too, but I think we're good. App setup, connecting your phone, enable Bluetooth. I got that. I'm gonna turn on do not disturb quickly. Give me one moment. Enable Bluetooth. Yes, you are allowed to use Bluetooth. Allow notifications. Turn on notifications. Critical alerts. Turn on critical alerts. Critical alerts always play a sound and appear on the lock screen even if your iPhone is muted or do not disturb is on. I like that because if I'm really low in the middle of the night and my phone is on do not disturb, I want it to wake me up. We're gonna start the sensor. I'm gonna put it on this arm. We're gonna put it on the back of the arm because that is the approved spot. Let's not break the rules today. Rub site with an alcohol wipe. Let's go get an alcohol wipe. We're gonna clean this area. Wait until completely dry. All right, next. Okay, there's a little arrow here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel this off. And here we go. Okay, we got this, and we got this. This is what it looks like. And then this, oh, it's like a little overlay patch. I was sent something with like the new highlights of Dexcom G7. One said accuracy, our most accurate sensor ever. Two is the size and components. So the Dexcom G7 sensor is 60% smaller and there is no separate transmitter, which is what we just talked about. It's an all-in-one sensor with a simple one push applicator. 30 minute warm up period. That's pretty cool. The Dexcom G6 was two hours. Redesigned app with Dexcom clarity metrics and insights like time and range viewable right from the app home screen. Oh, so is Clarity and G7, is it combined now? Cause I remember there's two separate apps. So that would be really cool too. More personalized alerts, love that. 12 hour grace period to replace the sensor when it's convenient for you. Okay, that's cool. So that's what I'm guessing. I think I saw that in line somewhere when it expires, you literally have 12 more hours to do the change. And that's why you can have a G7 sensor here and a G7 sensor here. And while it's warming up, you're still able to watch your blood sugar because you have that time to do the switch over. So now we're gonna go back, unscrew cap. Do not touch the inside applicator. Okay. Don't use if damaged or previously open. Okay, I'm like a little scared for this. Okay. Okay, unscrew that. There it is, there it is. It is so little. Let's go to step four, everyone. Press and hold applicator firmly against skin until clear safety guard is pushed in. Okay, so that's the clear safety guard. So I'm guessing we just push that all the way into our skin and then we push the button, which means go time. I'm a little nervous. I just don't, I also, I don't want to mess it up and I'm nervous. I don't know if it's going to feel different. So that's what I'm also nervous for. Save the applicator because you'll need its pair. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Does that, does it just go down? Firmly on skin. My arm looks kind of weird right now. Relax any muscles. I'm going to relax. And then I feel like I'm pushing so hard. Is that one? Oh, okay. Ready? One? No, I can't. Okay. Okay. One? No. Three? No. I need a five second count. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. The button's not going. Five, four, three, two, one. Why isn't it working? Oh my God. I did not feel a thing. I swear I did not feel a thing. That is so little. I need to go look in the mirror. Look at how little that is. Hang on a second. This works because we still got both. Look at that. What? 
I did not, I, I would tell you if that hurt. I did not feel a thing. Maybe I just use my arms too much and I'm like literally immune to needles or whatever at this point, but whoa, that is so stinking cool. What the heck? Do I need to like push in to make sure it's like all in and we just did that? Okay, that was sweet. Look how little that is. Okay, remove applicator. Save applicator because you'll need its pairing code. I'm guessing that's what this is. 0078. Screw cap back onto applicator. And I love the look at, look at how simple that is. Doesn't hurt by the way when I'm touching that. We're gonna press the next button. Use over patch. I'm kind of curious to try it without the overlay pack to see like how long the adhesive itself works. But because we've only got one, I think we should just do it. Pairing code. So that's where we're gonna use this, I'm guessing, to do the thingamajiggy. Find and enter the four digit pairing code on the applicator you use to insert the sensor. Do we take a picture? I'm gonna enter the code manually. So 0078, submit. Pair. Pairing is complete. 20 minutes remaining, thought it's 30 minutes. Does that mean it actually like starts literally when it's like inserted? If anyone knows the answer to that, let me know or I'm gonna find out that answer for us because that's kind of cool. Because this one, I know that if I would put it on and forget the two hour warm up, I'd have to wait another full two hours after. So your sensor is now warming up. No readings or alerts until warm up is done. I understand, thank you. You can add stuff in here. Meals, activity, no insulin, blood glucose, sensor starts, the sensor expires, Siri should. Alerts, add second alert profile. Okay, that's cool, because then I could have a second alert mode. Let's say if I was, I always use this example, but if I was going on a hike, which I probably won't, and I want my glucose to let me know at a higher range or something like that, I could probably just have that set on for exercise, which that's kind of cool. 18 minutes left. So 17 minutes, we're gonna regroup here. I wanna know too if you guys have tried the G7 yet and what your thoughts are on it. We'll circle back in 17 minutes. It's gonna be any minute now, any minute. Did you hear that? 6.5. Oh, 100% range. I like starting this with a good number because we're gonna hope it lasts like that, but it's not gonna last like that. And I don't even wanna show you what it's been like on the G6 app, okay? I, I've been trying to be way better. So let's put my high alert on as 12, so then I'm notified right away. Low alert, I am a chicken when it comes to low blood sugar, so we're gonna go to 4.5. So let's, let's do something for fun. Add a note. First, Dexcom, G7. Can I add emojis? Oh, <laughs> save. Okay, so Dexcom G7 says we're 6.5. Dexcom G6 says we're 9.2. Wanna know what that means? We're getting out the finger poker and I wanna see what I am. Strip in, boom. Three, two, one. We're 10. Let's see if I can calibrate it to that. Let's do blood glucose finger stick so I can choose one or the other. Let's do the calibration. So I am 10.0, save. I understand, confirm. Normally the G6 would like update right away with the calibration. I don't I don't know how this works yet, so I'm thinking it's just doing its thing, you know? Oh, that's so cool, look too here. So the sensor says 10 days left and it, ha it has a little countdown with the little green slots. And then I think it updates every five minutes. I like when I scroll down, it shows me the blood sugar up top still. I also notice in here, there's a glucose tab button where you can choose this or this. I'm putting that one on because I deal with some highs sometimes. And then we're gonna do the target range you can see that it takes away that gray area too, but I, I'm gonna leave that on. That does not bother me. Okay, well, my, my overall review is I, I'm in love with it. That's what it looks like actually on my phone. Oh, it just updated. There we go. So it calibrated, bumped it up to 9.3. We're gonna take some insulin and we're gonna log it. And I wanna see if it just shows it in the notes or if it does anything on the home screen. So let's do the blood sugar 9.3, add the kilocaliter. So it's giving me 1.3 units. So that insulin is going in me right now. Insulin, fast acting, 1.3, save, confirm. History, that is so cool. It saves everything. We got the notes, calibration, and fast acting insulin. We got our G7 on. I love it. Thank you, Dexcom. Let me know if if you've tried the G7 yet, below in the comments and, and your thoughts on it. I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Okay, bye.